Welcome back to the series where I give new teams to various trainers in the Pokemon world. The goal of this series is to give all the major trainers the teams I believe fit them the most in game. In this video, I'll be going over the changes I'd make to all the major trainers in the Hoenn games. And as always, we kick things off with the gym leaders. So let's get started with Roxanne. Now Roxanne has always been known as a studious trainer, but I never really knew what that had to do with rock types. Luckily in Oras, they gave her gym kind of an archaeology slash museum theme, so now her rock speciality makes way more sense. So her team will be Anorith, Lilip, and Nosepass. She's gonna get the first stage fossils cause she probably loves to study them. Brawly. His team will be Metatite, Tyrogue, and Makuhita. I decided to give Brawly a Tyrogue cause, I don't know, Machop just seems too generic. Tyrogue is more unique because of his whole wrestling focused design. I feel like it better fits with Brawly's redesign in Oras where he's a lot more battle ready. Watson. His team will be Plusle, Magneton, and Maynectric. Plusle seems like a Pokemon he would start out with. It's small, cute, electric, and most importantly, from Hoenn. Minin could honestly fit too, but since he's an early gym leader, I decided to just stick with three Pokemon and, ah, you know what, I'll add it, it's fine. Flannery. Her team will be Combuskin, Camerupt, and Torkoal. Her team follows this volcanic theme, and although Slugma and Macargo would be a great option, I decided not to have them to add Combuskin. I think she'd use one because she's a fire type Hoenn trainer. This is especially the case if she got a cute little Torchic. I could definitely see her having that. So yeah, awkward ass Combuskin is in. Norman. His team has always been kinda boring. Like, we get it, you have the whole slacking line. Whoop de doo. The normal type is boring enough as it is, buddy. Don't make it any worse for them. His new team will be Linoon, Loudred, and Slacking. I went with Linoon because he's a quick boy, Loudred because he's a loud and crazy boy, and Slacking because he's slacking. They all vary in personality and battle style, which is the whole point of the slacking line in the first place. Winona. Now, the gym leaders will be receiving four Pokemon, and Winona's team will be Swellow, Pelipper, Tropius, and Altaria. Winona has a theme that's all about mastery over the air and such, so instead of focusing on just birds like Faulkner does, I wanted her team to feel more tied with nature. So that's why we have the combo of Tropius who's a flying dinosaur tree, and Pelipper, the rain summoner, at least in later gens. This team is full of varying types that really represent the region of Hoenn. Tate and Liza. Now yeah, we know that they're a duo that uses double battles with Solrock and Lunatone, but I'm giving them two more Pokemon that fit with their Astral theme. Otherwise, they might as well just be Rock-type gym leaders as well. Their team will be Solrock, Lunatone, Claydol, and Starmie. Claydol is an addition they get in Emerald, but Starmie is the new one I added. It's literally a star that's theorized to be from space, so it fits with these space-themed gym leaders. Huan! I'll be saving Wallace for the Elite Four, so for now, we're just going over the new 8th gym leader of Hoenn, who didn't make it into Oras. His team will be Sea King, Wishcash, Celio, and Kingdra. His original team is honestly fine the way it is, minus Love Disc of course, cause it sucks. His Cronut was fine too, but I decided to put Sea King instead cause it looks way more elegant, and it fits really well with Juan's style and personality, I, I really like the mix. And that wraps up all the Hoenn Gym Leaders. And as always, before the Elite Four, let's take a look at the evil teams. We've got two this region. I'll be starting with Team Magma first. These are the Pokemon I believe should be used by their grunts. Zubat, Coughing, Slugma, Puchiana, Nummel, Houndour, and Magmar. Originally, Team Magma was missing a surprising amount of fire types, which is why we have new additions like Magmar and Houndour. Even Slugma makes the cut since it wasn't really used by Team Magma. As for Team Aqua, they're all about expanding the sea, so of course I'll be adding a few more water types. Their grunts should have Zubat, Grimer, Corfish, Puchiana, Quillfish, Tentacool, and Carvana. The additions here are Tentacool and Quillfish. They're poisonous water types, so I think that Team Aqua would use them to help achieve their evil agenda. We also get Corfish, who evolves into the evil type, Crawdont. Now when it comes to these team's admins, they kinda suck. Their teams usually consist of copying one or two of their boss's Pokemon, and, and that's it. I mean, I know you admire them, but come on now. Their team should be at least a little bit more different and make them unique and stand out. Let's start with Team Magma's Courtney. Her team will be Mighty Anna, Golbat, and Houndoom. I wanted her team to focus more on the dark type side of Team Magma. Meanwhile, Tabitha will be focusing on the fire type side. His team will be Magmar, 
Weezing and Camerupt. Now for Team Aqua's admins, Matt. His team will be Tentacruel, Muck, and Sharpedo. His team is more focused on water. Meanwhile, Shelly, she'll have Mightyana, Golbat, and Crawdont. This team focuses more on the dark type side like Courtney. Maxi. It's time for the Team Magma Boss, and his team will be Mightyana, Crobat, Macargo, Magmar, Weezing, and Camerupt. The new addition is Macargo. It's a great fit for Team Magma since it's a magma snail. This is why I didn't give one to Flannery so she wouldn't end up having a Team Magma team basically, and Magmar wouldn't hurt to have either. Archie. His team will be Mightyana, Crobat, Tentacruel, Crawdont, Muck, and Sharpedo. Tentacruel is a new addition, and so is Crawdon. These two are a good fit for Archie's evil water team. And now that we've got the evil teams out of the way, it's time to move on to the Elite Four. Sydney. His team will be Shiftry, Zangoose, Crawdon, Houndoom, and Absol. To be honest, his original team is actually pretty good for him. The only difference is the addition of Houndoom instead of basic ass Mightyana, but also Zangoose. I know it's not a dark type, but it's a pretty edgy normal type that he has in the manga, so it's a good fit to be honest. Phoebe. Her team will be Mistrevis, Sherinja, Sableye, Bayonet, and Dusclops. I give her Mistrevis because it's a feminine looking ghost type, so it's a good fit for the Ghost Girl Elite 4 member. As for Sherinja, it's here because it's another Hoenn ghost type that could be used as well. Glacia. Her team will be Glalie, Dugong, Cloyster, another Glalie, and Walrein. I tried to avoid giving her a bunch of Celios, so that's why Dugong and Cloyster are here. Dugong specifically makes for a good companion to Walrein, so I like it here. Drake. His team will be Shelgon, Sceptile, Kingdra, Flygon, and Salamence. Sceptile is definitely the most interesting addition. I added it because it learns some decent dragon moves and even gains the dragon typing when it mega evolves, so it already has some relation to dragons. Now for the champion of Emerald, Wallace. His team will be Waylord, Gyarados, Lantern, Ludicolo, Swampert, and Milotic. Instead of Wishcash, I gave him Swampert since it's already a better water and ground type. The Water Master Wallace would definitely use one. As for Lantern, it's another great water type that isn't weak to electric attacks. It definitely makes his team a bit more diverse. And now for the true champion, Steven Stone. His team will be Skarmory, Steelix, Aerodactyl, Scizor, Agron, and Metagross. I think Aerodactyl is truly the best fossil Pokemon for Steven to have, and he even gets one in the postgame of Oras. And since he's all about looking for stones, what's a better and more iconic Steel type than Steelix? As for Scizor, he's here cause he just looks cool man, <laughs> I love him. Now for your rival, Brendan or May. Now don't get this confused for the player characters team cause they won't be getting any. I feel like that's left for the players to decide. This is what I believe should be the true canonical team of your opposite gender rival. Swello, Breloom, Waylord, Plusle or Minin, depending on the gender, and Blaziken. I'm mostly looking at this from the point of view that May should be the one who ends up with Blaziken. It fits her so well considering it starts out as a cute little Torchic. The rest of the team is just made up of Pokemon they've used throughout the Hoenn games and the ones I think work the best. Well, except for Plusle and Minin. I added them because I feel like it would make way more sense for your rival to use them instead of freaking Raichu and Oras. Like I get that Pikachu is the mascot and all, but I just hate when Game Freak slaps it onto a rival because of that. So plus and minus it is. Zinnia. Although she wasn't in the original Hoenn games, she does make her debut in Oras, so she's still technically a Hoenn character. Her team will be Noivern, Flygon, Tyrantrum, Altaria, and Salamence. Oh yeah, Naster. Now yeah, she was introduced in Generation 6, but I didn't really like that most of her team was filled with Kalos Pokemon than with Hoenn. The Draconids are supposed to be from Hoenn, so that's why I gave her Flygon. It really makes her team stick with this flying dragon theme, which is really cool. Well, except for Tyrantrum, but he's an edgy dragon, so Xenia should keep it. Let's finish things off with the Hoenn Battle Frontier, Frontier Brains. That sounds very weird to say. Noland. Uses literally any Pokemon, so we're skipping him. Greta. Her team will be Hariyama, Heracross, and Metacham. I love how the anime made her focus on fighting types. She is the head of the battle arena, which is the perfect place to train fighting types, so it works. That's why she's getting Hariyama and Metacham. As for Heracross, it's yet another fighting type that she actually uses in-game. Tucker. His team will be Typhlosion, 
Swampert, and Salamence. In-game Tucker has a Charizard, but I don't really like it for him. If he really wants a flashy fire type starter, then he can have Typhlosion. It's an awesome Pokemon that needs more love, and it doesn't mess with his theme of mixing fire and water, so it's good. Also, red for fire, blue for water, you get both with Salamence, which makes purple for Tucker. That's why. That's... that's the team. That's the theme, I think, right? Lucy! This one is easy. Her team is all about Serpents, so she gets... Seviper, Steelix, and Milotic. Next, Spencer. This one was a bit tricky to put together, but ultimately, I decided that his team should have a nature theme, but also be all about bulk. So he gets Cradilly, Fortress, and Slacking. Cradilly has really high special defense, while Fortress has really high physical defense. As for Slacking, I mean, come on, it's Slacking. Annabelle. Her team will be Alakazam, Snorlax, and Metagross. I decided to mix up her theme from the anime where she's strictly a psychic type user with a team that's just about being really strong hitters. So that's why I came up with this team. She doesn't have a Salamence anymore as I decided Tucker should be the one to have it, but it's alright cause she has the other Hoenn pseudo legendary, Metagross. And lastly, Brandon. This one is pretty obvious. Just like the games in anime, Brandon has all the Regis. There aren't really any other Pokemon I could see him with. These guys are what he's known for. Thanks for watching everyone, and shout out to those who support the channel on Patreon. Remember to live your life to the fullest, and have yourself a damn good one.